Hello friends, it's Kim, the Bluebird Legacy. I want to come on today and just share with you a few flip throughs of a few of my books or journals that I've made. Some call them junk journals. I suppose some of these are junk journals, although this one has been made out of new things and lace. This one is sort of a a double flip and it's got a it's got a really pretty wedding trim on it with sequins on the front. Let's just do a flip through today. This is some of my collage work an envelope with pretties inside and then I'm going to lift that so you can move it around as you want to. Some altered paper clips. These are all from my pink series. A couple of them are shabby chic. Music paper, coffee dyed paper, random avocado dyed paper. It's got a pink tinge. Little pockets. Heavyweight paper. Lots of space for journaling. These are really not super embellished. Just different papers to inspire you. This is actually old ledger paper. A few scrapbook papers because the aesthetic went. More avocado dyed paper collected. This is a printable from um, Nevermore Creations. Um, she has a digital, several digitals. So, And then this is a pocket that I altered, an envelope. back side. This is a, a freebie from uh, Artie Mays. If you go on Artie Mays uh, Facebook, you'll find that. More avocado dyed. Um, this one is too. I, I do not recall if this is Artie Mays or shabby dabby doo -dah, but it's one of them and it's just beautiful isn't it the center that's the centerpiece and there's a couple of pearls and crystals on there more coffee dyed avocado dyed lace embellishment Belly band, pretty. I think it's Stamperia. I took an envelope and coffee dyed it. The shimmer of that ink. Some heavyweight paper. And then a little collage tag. Lace music. More scrappy Tim, Tim Holtz paper. And a couple of these. This was inspired by Shabby Dabby Doo Dah on her channel. Her um, uh, makes series that she does. I thought this were really interesting. Very easy to make. And it's a one piece piece of paper that makes three pockets in your journal. And you can embellish it any way you want. So then that's the, the back of the journal. The journal turns over. And as you close it, then it opens back up. And I have a pocket here 
there's just this in here, but it is a really nice pocket. This has a few little stamps in it. Of course, I can't get it out on film, but so if you want to hold papers or embellishments for journaling, that's a really nice journal to do that in. So, the next one I have is in the pink series, and it has a dictionary cover. It is a more of a hard cover, a soft, I'd call this a, a soft, hard cover journal. It's dictionary on the back with lace. I've made the binding. This is my hand-dyed paper. Uh, fabric rather. This is fabric here with lace, paper, and a sealer. Of course, I put some lace on it. This is a very different journal. It's not in a shabby chic style. It's in more of what I call my eclectic. This is more of Kim's style. The pages have tabs. It's a smaller journal. The pockets with lace. Journaling cards. Just colors to really inspire you to make your own art, to do your own thing with it. Got a watercolor of my own, painted papers. These are my own painted papers. And inspiring tags, stamps, coffee dyed paper I've included. Gessoed some flips with fabric tabs more of that fabric and um, watercolor heavyweight paper paper with craft paper envelope I've used old book pages and I have tabs and fabric clusters coffee dyed paper a little envelope. Put whatever you like in there. This is hand dyed cloth, cheesecloth, and with inks. And it is stitched to the page for cover for any journaling. Butterflies, Joy, journaling card with some of my alcohol inks, and um, stuck down in a corner pocket that I've stitched on, and that's a photograph. Well, it's a copy of a photograph that I took of clouds. So this is just an, an, I would call this an inspiration journal. I uh, made a little banner, stitched a little banner on here. I like plants and botanicals, and so this is from an old botanical book. I have a couple more stickers for you here. These are, this is a sticker, this black and white one. More of that paper I thought really went with the book. Couple more stickers. Hope you find your happy. And more old book. I think this book is from like 1890 something. And then a, a, I was inspired by Robin Dudley House and she made some uh, envelopes and did a, she did something else with it, but I thought it looked cute in here. Some little index cards, a little postcard. Of course, you can do what you like with it, but they do close up. You could close them, leave them open. That's just for a different page. And more uh, dictionary page. Some of my favorite fabric. K facade of tabs. We have stamps, a dictionary, painted papers. And another watercolor, original watercolor, that I put on there. So that is the inspiration 
journal. I have one more for you today in the pink series, and we'll go quickly through this one. I don't want the video to get too long. This one is uh, an open gate journal, and I call it an open gate because it, it does have, I made this uh, key opening with air dry clay, and I believe the Prima, I, I won this, the molds in a Instagram, <laughs> I'm Bluebird Legacy on Instagram also, and I, I won these molds and a, a whole lot of supplies, and so I made this and kind of shabbied it up, grungied it up a little, sewed on, stitched on uh, beads and crystals, pearls, these are all glass beads, no plastic, <clears throat> and uh, then some old lace, layers of old lace that I put in there, and um, this is an actual uh, file folder. This is a file folder journal, and um, again, I believe I was um, inspired by Robin Dudley Howes. She has a file folder journal on her uh, channel, and so this is, this is different, but uh, it is a file folder, and so I was inspired that way. But this gate journal opens up like this. And I think she did a bunch more layers. I just wanted the one layer. Use some button fabric. I like buttons. I've got some lace stitched down. This is all stitched. And these are uh, my porch prints. Um, I think they're so beautiful. The roses. And just, just the aesthetic of that. Uh, the little library cards. And... Um, this one is a freebie from Graphics Fairy. And so this one I wanted to keep in a kind of a light, airy uh, feel. Use some paper back here, lace, and then a few tickets here, a pocket here for you. And then this closes back up. And then you can put what you like in there. And then the journal opens up. To sort of, sort of an antique stamp lace look with a lot of coffee dyed papers and very lightly embellished. Some clusters. If you like coffee dyed, this is the one for you. Lots of room to journal or write. Um, a few uh, paper clusters here. Everything is secure. A few little pockets that I've made. Look the texture on these papers. These are baked. After I coffee dye them, I place them in the oven at a real low temperature. A few little doilies. Some tea clusters. Some are tea stained. And I've got a few in here that are avocado dyed. Very pale. Hopefully you can see that. It's just the palest pink. It's the front. I will list in the description box the size of each journal and the page amount, the width and length, and then the, how many pages are there. If you're interested in one of these journey, journals, they are for sale, and just um, send me an email or leave a comment below. I can get this shipped out to you before Christmas. A lace embellishment, some graph paper there. More avocado dyed. I love to paint on this dictionary paper. And more coffee dyed. And then it's all lace. This is vintage lace that's back here. I turn and cover it. These are coffee dyed. Some are vintage, some are not. Um, it's completely covered in lace. And then what I have here is this journal has two pockets and 
the front pocket above, I left extra lace to tuck down in there. I thought it was pretty. The front pocket holds this little photo holder or a little small journal that you might like to put photos in. These are embellished. One page wonders. I got the idea from... I'm thinking. <laughs> um, her name is Liz the Paper Project. And so um, this one I've embellished with a um, snippet roll and some pretties that I thought went with this journal. You turn it this way, it opens. You have uh, enough space for six photos there, or three photos here. There's three there, there's one. Then you turn it over and you have room for three photos there. It's great for a brag book. Really super nice, I thought. Um, for brag books or gifts. And so that tucks down in there. And then on this area, I have another Christmas one. And this is Shabby Dabby Doodah's uh, digital. I thought it was so pretty with this, with this journal, the pink and the paper. And it opens up, similar. I made some that were different and some alike. It's hard for me to make things that are same over and over. This one does open up and there are six places for a photo and a very pretty cover. You could send it as a card and then there's Merry Christmas. It also has a tuck here. So you could actually put seven pictures in this little four by six. It's very cute. So, and I will link Liz's, um, where I, where I got the idea, I will link her video down below, and I thank you so much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I appreciate you watching. That is my pink series today. Okay, where did I lay the other journal? Right here. I'm going to put those out. Those are the three journals. This one is the pocket journal. This one is the altered file folder, gate journal, and then the inspiration journal. Until next time, see ya.